Hi there, this is Axiom, and in this video we're going to go over vision modes in version 10 of Foundry. One of the key features that have been updated in version 10 are vision modes. And in this video I'm just going to go over the processes now. So if I right hand click on this token here and go to the cog, we now have under a section called vision, a few different options. So when you initially set up a character, it will come in with vision enabled. Most of the time for a 5e game, if the character has dark vision, we would select it in here and set it to 60 feet. And now when I update and look at this token here, uh, as dark vision should be, areas that are lit normally will be colored. And when you're relying on your night vision, everything is in black and white as it should be. So now out of the box, that will that will work without issue. What we're also seeing on here optionally, the extras that we're seeing here are a couple of other things. This token here is invisible, and this token up here is behind a wall, so should not be being able to be seen. But I've given this token a way to see invisible creatures, and also to be able to, via tremor sense, uh, discover this other creature here. This is the default vision type for tremor sense. So let's look at how those are set up. Again, we go back into the cog system here, we're going to go to the vision and then we have got this extra section here called detection modes. When you first go in here, it will just have basic sight and what we've arranged that that is set up as a de detection mode. But you can go to this add an extra detection mode and we can add in C invisibility. And in this case, we're going to say uh, C invisibility at 60 feet. Now we can see that when, when I click on his vision, you can now detect this invisible center. And then if I go back into the cog one more time and then I add one more, vision mode I'm going to go for this time of feel tremor a 60 on that one and then again that now brings back that token that it was detecting via tremor sense I think it's also should be smart enough now that if I put in that this uh, this creature is not on the ground by 20 feet it's now invisible via the uh, via tremor sense because it can't be detected through the ground so I definitely think this has got some options in gameplay and could be interesting going forward it's very well done. As always, if there are any questions or if there are things that you would like looked at, let me know. But thanks again for listening and please like and subscribe for more content.